What's up, hobby friends? My name is Casey, and this is eBay Miniature Rescues. This week, I'm gonna tell you a story of how I flew almost 3,000 miles to buy a $35 miniature. The story starts a few months ago when Games Workshop announced that they were going to have several large scale tournaments held in the United States. Not only would there be awesome gameplay for three straight days, but a full on Games Workshop store packed with hard to find items, including some event exclusive models that you could only get at one of the three tournaments that were being held. I talked with my friend Brent from Goobertown Hobbies and asked if he wanted to meet me in Florida for the first tournament and pick up one of those exclusive models. After all, we've known each other for several years, but haven't actually met in person. We both realized that our friend Danny from 3D Printed Tabletop actually lived near the tournament in Orlando, where the event was being held. So we all talked and decided that we were going to make an epic hobby weekend out of the entire thing. And so with that in mind, I hopped on a flight to Orlando, Florida. The plan was pretty simple. The weekend was going to be filled with a ton of painting, gaming, and my favorite, teaching Danny how to use an airbrush for the first time. Now, I won't go into too much detail with that because he will be coming out with a video documenting the entire process on his channel. And by the way, if you aren't subscribed to 3D Printed Tabletop or Goobertown Hobbies, what are you doing? I'll put the links in the description and at the end of this video. Being able to hang out with Brent after recording a podcast for more than a year together was pretty awesome. It always amazes me how much this hobby can bring us all together, especially for something that requires us to be in the same room to participate in, generally. Of course, painting in itself is a solitary activity, but when you can get together with a couple of friends and sit around a table together painting, well, I don't think this hobby can get much better than that. So we worked on cleaning up and painting a ton of terrain, and prepped even more minis to be painted. We probably set our sights a little bit high, but we managed to get almost everything primed up and ready to go. Danny painted some lava, which turned out real good for his first time with an airbrush. We sat down for a pretty quiet evening, painting some minis and talking about the hobby. The next day was gonna be all about that Games Workshop Warhammer US Open. And the plan was to get that event exclusive model for Age of Sigma. After all, we both flew in to pick up that model. And of course, you know, Games Workshop would have enough for everyone, right? Right? Walking into the convention center and seeing a large space marine pointing out our path was a pretty neat moment. Right out of the gate, my expectations were pretty high for the entire event, and we all wanted to hurry up and grab that model. We stopped before the main entrance to get some equipment ready. More videos were about to be made, so we took a quick water break before discovering an even better space marine than the one we were greeted with initially. Look at this thing. How, how cool would it be to paint this? I want to paint this. Finally, we made it into the gaming hall and wow, did this look impressive. The tables, the armies, everybody that had entered to play in this event had brought their A game with the armies. 
I don't think I saw a single army that looked bad. My favorite part though, was getting to meet so many people who enjoy what each of us do on YouTube. It was awesome to meet people in person and get to have conversations about the hobby. Everyone was absolutely amazing and I cannot wait to see you all again at the next one. Oh, and I can't forget this. This orc display base and army from Jacob made me absolutely smile ear to ear. This man knows what he's doing with orcs and for real makes me want to build something like this for my own army. I don't think I could do it this good, but seeing something like this makes me want to try that much harder. Wherever you are, Jacob, good job, man. Your orcs are seriously impressive. We met so many people at this event that it's kind of hard to fit everyone in, but I have to mention that both Brent and I finally met some of the team from Warpfire Minis. Super nice guys, and we both wish that we could have hung out more. They were there to play and we were pretty much there to buy that mini. So let's talk about that. The mini in question is the event exclusive Holga Clovenhorn. If you don't know what this is, it's basically a super awesome champion of chaos model that probably anybody would want. It's got a nice amount of attitude, the perfect face and a good amount of detail to set it apart from normal chaos warriors. So we stroll up to the store and wouldn't you know it, they don't have any more. And of course the three of us are just kind of sit there wondering why. The event had tickets and out of those tickets there had to be an amount of people who were just going to show up. So why not pack a couple of extra boxes? Did I mention I was able to pick up the Necron exclusive model for that event? In fact, I may have been the only person to have purchased one and it's not even for me. Go figure. All I'm saying is we flew thousands of miles to a relatively small tournament put on by the largest war game company in existence for them to skimp out on the product that would have certainly brought a lot of people in. All right, all right, all right. I'm just venting at this point. I'm mostly joking. I wasn't actually there for just the model. That would be ridiculous. And the cool thing is our friends at Warpfire managed to snag one to give to Brent for his Slaves to Darkness army. So once again, Warpfire Minis comes through in a huge way. So thanks guys. After we left the event, we got back to painting up the rest of the minis we had prepped. It was time for a D and D and D. Dungeons, Dragons, and Danny. Basically, we used all of the terrain and minis we had painted over the long weekend to run a quick one-shot game of D and D. Danny DM the game for me and Brent. Brent and I played twin halfling druids, trying to escape a Forgotten Realms traveling circus. We used our size and our natural prowess to help train a young would-be trash kobold to be worthy of the kobold princess and hopefully impress the king. If you want to hear more about that, then check out Paint Bravely, the podcast on YouTube and podcast services. We are definitely going to be telling the tale. All in all, it capped off the weekend in an extremely satisfying way. We got to set up and use all of the models that we had spent all that time painting. So the game felt even more familiar and real because of that time we had put in. Minis that were printed from a 3D printer came to life and became characters that we got to know. Going on an adventure in person with friends hammered home the importance of gathering together and having fun. So let's get a little bit candid here. I had a lot of fun at the event, even though, you know, we were there for the model, sort of. I wanted it, that's fine. It was really awesome just meeting so many different people who had so many different perspectives on the hobby. Danny was making a video about 3D printing and Warhammer and all this stuff. Brent and I were just talking to a bunch of people about hobby in general, you know, getting to know people. You know, I, I know it's it's not, it's something that, that I didn't really think about when this channel started to get a little bit bigger is that, you know, there's an off chance that someone would literally just recognize me. And I mean, obviously, this is a very niche hobby, a niche YouTube channel, whatever you want to call it. But I don't know. It's a humbling experience. Probably not deserved. <laughs> but I appreciate all of you for coming up, anybody who did, and saying hi. Um, it was really nice to meet all of you. And uh, I'm hoping that we can we can do that again. Uh, I know Brent and I have already booked for Adepticon 2022, and uh, hope to see you there. Yeah. Before we wrap up, I just wanted to show off a few of the models that I painted for Danny's Kickstarter. 
uh, it's up right now I'm gonna put links in the description some really awesome models really fun to paint a lot of character the sculpts are fantastic and they're they're kind of just the right size that you can kind of do whatever you want with them they go in D&D &D, be played on board games or you know even war games they're a little smaller than the standard 32 mil kind of war game size but they fit in with 25 mil stuff perfectly in fact these are all on 25 mil bases I also wanted to talk a little bit about Danny and Brent now this was an amazing weekend not just because you know I was able to get out and kind of just travel which you know it's been kind of a thing for a while you can't really do um, Danny and Brent are some of the nicest people I've ever met and I am extremely grateful that I know them and that I can call them friends it was a really good time hanging out with them and and an experience that I will definitely remember for probably the rest of my life. That being said, we're going to do Adepticon. We're going to do it right. It's going to be a good time. So I'll see you there. So, hobby friends, that really does it for this week's episode. I'll be back next week with some fun rescues and miniature painting. Thanks again for joining me. I'm Casey, and I will see you in the next video.